the summit of the highest peak in the Drakenberga Mountains. The air is crisp, and the sky blazes with the setting sun. Galadricorn, Tarkanon, and Galathimorn, three great worms, gather around an ancient stone table etched with runes. Galadricorn, a gold great worm with his golden scales shimmering in the fading light, states solemnly, We have sensed it, brothers. The seal beneath the Temple of Rosh has been broken. The purple gem no longer binds the passage to Tartarus. Tarkanon, a black great worm having black scales that seem to absorb all light around him, replies with a gruff voice, I care not for the high elves of Kirsch, but this breach jeopardizes the balance of Qualth itself. What moves do you propose, O righteous Galadricorn? Golothamorn, a sapphire great worm, his sapphire scales reflecting a blue sheen, and a fierce glint in his eyes bellows out, War is upon us. We must strike swiftly. The demonic filth pours forth as we speak. We cannot dally in diplomacy or debate. Galadricorn, nodding in agreement, says, Indeed, Golothimorn. However, we must act with precision. We have but one hour to muster our kin. It is not merely Kirsch at stake, but all of Qualth. We must defend the realm. Tarkanon snorts. An hour? The Ancient Ones will barely have opened their eyes by then. It will fall to the younger flights to bear the brunt of this war. Golothamorn, eager for battle, shouts. Then so be it. Let us rally those who will rise quickly and strike hard. I will lead the vanguard. Galadricorn nods again. Agreed. Let us each summon our allies and meet at the base of the mountains. Time is of the essence, and our enemy does not tire. The dragons nod solemnly, each feeling the weight of the coming conflict. With a powerful beat of their wings, they take to the sky, scattering clouds and sending a clarion call to their kin. In the skies above the mountains, dragons of various sizes and colors gather, forming a formidable battalion in the twilight sky. Golothamorn, roaring above the gathered dragons, warriors of the wing, the seal to Tartarus has been broken and demons infest our lands. Today, we fight not only for the High Elves, but for the survival of all Qualth. A young dragon, youthful and eager, speaks up. What of the ancients, great Golothamorn? Will they not join us in battle? Tarkanon circling above sneers. Those old fools are slow to rouse. We will fly without them. Should they decide to join us after they finally open their tired eyes, then good. If not, then we will bring the fury of dragons down upon the demons ourselves. Galadricorn roars, look to the skies and look to each other. Today, we are one flight, one fury, for Qualth. The dragons roar in unison, a sound that shakes the mountains and forests below. With Galothimorn at the lead, they dive toward the portal site, flames ready to purge the demonic scourge. In the destroyed city of Thoradrin, its towers crumbling and buildings burning, the demons begin to head out of the city. A massive army of demons assembled outside the city snarls and roars as they bite and claw at each other. A few Marag roars and the demons are still for a moment, before they begin to march north towards Kirschbaumdorf. The demons travel through the forests, killing everything in their path without slowing the pace of the army. Before long, the demons arrive before Kirschbaumdorf, letting out demonic roars towards the city in the late hours of the night. A massive demon begins to approach the city. The fiend stands as tall as the tallest tower and wields a demonic blade fit for its size. The demon's every step shakes the ground, rousing the elves of the city as he draws closer. Shouts can be heard echoing from the walls as the defenders prepare. Soon after a magical barrier erupts from the ground, encircling the city. The elves have activated the Hekaskild, but the huge demon does not pause for a moment. The demon arrives before the shimmering barrier. It then raises its sword high before slamming it down against the barrier. To be continued in part two of chapter two next week. If you enjoyed the first part of this chapter, leave a like on the video and subscribe to the Dragon Emperor for more of Qualth's epic story.